Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Well, here at the Red October Run, we found the winner of the 5K walk this morning, and your name is? Lynn Phillips. And where are you from, Lynn? I'm from La Bonia. Is this the first time you've done this race? Uh, I was here last year and set the record, actually. Ah. That was my first time. Okay. All right. That's right. I vaguely remember seeing that on the course record list that I found this morning. Tell us about your strategy for winning the race this morning. Um, the strategy is to maintain an even pace and uh, watch the form. I've been in some judge races, and uh, I know it's very very important to, to watch your technique. And uh, so those are the two elements of winning. Well, I noticed uh, when you were starting, you were starting kind of uh, up toward the front and surprised quite a few people around you when you took off walking faster than they were running. So uh, it was always fun to see that. Uh, tell us about race walking and why you, why you choose to do that. I started race walking for, uh, actually, I started walking for uh, to, to, for cardiovascular reasons to uh, reduce my cholesterol and reduce my blood pressure and that was four and a half years ago and after I'd done it for about three years I decided that I was interested in finding out how I was performing against perhaps others or what my actual time might be since you couldn't tell in the neighborhood so I got involved in some 5k races. Well you're right up there with it. Uh, have you done some other races where you've um, come in pretty well? Uh, I think the top race in the state is the Crim race walk, the 5K race walk, and I've been in that the last two years, and this past year finished fifth in that race. Ooh, that's really good for that one. That's just awesome. So how did you learn your technique? It's not easy. I started out self-taught, but after I got a couple of warnings from the judges at the Crim, uh, I asked for their advice, which they were very eager to, to give me, and I've been working on my technique a fair amount since then. And the last race that I was in was a 10K, and I didn't get any warnings, so I felt pretty good about that. <laughs> no warnings is, is, is a win. Thing. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, it's fun to watch you do it, and it's fun to watch you win. And so congratulations, and thank you very much for talking with us. Thank you. What's your all-time best for Uh Right around when I turned 50, I ran 1643 in the Nationals. 1643 in the Nationals? Right, so, and that's my PR as a master, and I ran that, um, I think I was right around 50 years old when I did that. Um, and uh, where would you finish overall today? Seventh overall. Seventh overall. And so you're pretty pleased, huh? I'm very pleased with everything, with the whole effort, with the day, with the race. It's certified, and I know that uh, with golf management handling all the uh, the timing and everything else, that uh, I just feel comfortable that everything's in place the way I wanted it. Right. For us, for us. Yeah, that has to go. No. Hi, I'm with Rachel here. What, what's, your, what's your last name? Toward. Toward. And wh where are you from, Rachel? Ormville, Michigan. And uh, you run for a, a high school team? No, middle school. Oh, middle school team. I'm sorry. Well, what's what's the name of the middle school school? Brandon Middle School. Brandon Middle School. And how was it out there for for you today? Um, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Did you did you run 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 your best time out there today? Yeah. Yeah, best time. And what, what, what was the day like out there? Um, it was pretty good. It's not that hot out. Not so. that hot out. Have you ever have you ever run this race before? No. What did you think of the race overall? It was pretty low key. It wasn't too big, crowded. So yeah, I liked it. Have you have you run many road races? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I ran the Crim and Dexter and Arbor run. Uh, thanks. Well, thanks a lot, well, Rachel. Congratulations on the race. Thank you. I'm with uh, Sam Crawford. Uh, this is the first time you've run this race? or? Yeah, this is the first time I've run in this event. And what did you think of it? I liked it. I liked it a lot. It was a nice uh, nice course. It was a nice neighborhood course, a lot of people out. It was an interesting race. Uh, well organized? Yeah, I thought so. That was The course was marked off really well with the cones and the signs and the volunteers. It was really good. And how did you run? I ran actually a pretty good time for me. I was at uh, 27 minutes, 11 seconds, which is a good time for me. About a minute off the last 5K I ran, so it's one of my favorite races now. <laughs> well, one of your favorite races? Yeah. Uh, do, do you run many races? or? You know, I've run about um, eight races or so this year, starting in the spring, and I've got a few more to run to close out the year. I don't run all the time. I'd always say I should run more, but I enjoy it when I do. 
And so it's a great first time event for you, hey? Yeah, it was great. It was great. I look forward to coming back next year. And what did you think of the weather out here? You know, it was good. It wasn't too hot. It was a nice breeze. Uh, so, you know, you wouldn't get overheated or anything and cool enough to keep you running a quick pace to get done. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Sam. All right. Congratulations. Much, Hi, I'm with uh, Kevin Sherwood. Where are you from, Kevin? Uh, Royal Oak. Royal Oak. And how was it out there today? Oh, fantastic. Perfect weather. And you had your choice of the 5K and the 10K. And it was great. I did the 5K today. And it was great out there, just beautiful. Have you done this race uh, ever before? Uh, yes, I have. I've done every single one of them. And, and what, what do you like about it? Uh, just that it's the first race usually in October, and it's always nice with the choice of two races, prizes, and you get a little lunch too, which is really good. How's it changed? Uh, oh boy, 12 years ago. A little smaller then, but each year it seems to get a little bit bigger. Uh, usually this time of year we're fighting rainstorms or it's real cold. That's why today I was surprised there's a lot of people out here today. I remember one year they had blizzards. Yes, I remember that too, and we had to take out the winter gear for that. Can you explain your patriotic garb here? Oh, boy, the trademark. <laughs> just started many years ago when I started running. The Oak Apple Run was my first race, and I was in just regular gear like anybody else. Um, and actually, it was my ma that got me started. They went off on vacation in Colorado, and she came home with a pair of red, white, and blue running shorts. So I started to wear the shorts at races, and then through the years, I have just started collecting anything red, white, and blue. And... People that don't even run know me by the Captain America nickname. And I initially started wearing the shorts because when you had relatives come to see you at a race, they all said all you runners look alike. But when I started wearing something distinctive, you could be picked out of the crowd. Now, now you prefer shorter distances, right? I, I do. People tease me that I like my miles and twos, but I'm the type that will do anything. I'll do double headers. I've done four races in a day a couple times. Um, I prefer doing the 5Ks, trying to get my time down, but I go, there's always another race to choose from. I entered the half marathon again. I did my first one last year and enjoyed it a lot, so I'm looking forward to that one. It was fun when I got to Canada and the announcer goes, there's Captain America, and I'm on the Canadian side, so that was really fun. <laughs> I'm with Joan Berman. Uh, you, ran, you did the walk, right? That's correct. And how was it out there today? Absolutely perfect. Perfect weather, friendly people, great course, everything was good. How long have you been doing this race? Uh, I've been doing this race, and let's see, I started race walking at about age 60, and this is probably the fifth time I've done this race, and it's always fun and it's always good. I came today because I'm getting ready to do the Chicago Marathon, and this is a nice little tune-up. I came in third overall women. Third overall, have you done that well before? Mm, sometimes I've been first. Sometimes yeah, here? It was good, yes. I've been first here, second here, third here, but it's always good no matter what.